Howdy, folks! How are y'all doing? Cub here, and welcome back to another episode of our Tech at Legends Let's Play adventure. I hope y'all are doing well. We are continuing our Christmas theme with the, the little Christmas hat and the music, and that's really all there is to give it away, isn't there? If you're watching this uh, at a later date, uh, I hope you feel the Christmas spirit. Maybe. Just a little bit? Maybe Maybe you're watching this in July. It's Christmas in July! Uh, hopefully, this episode, the plosives will be fixed. I've gone back to my original setup for the microphone. Also, this episode, we need to discuss something before we continue. As you can probably tell, this is going to be a build episode. I've had to go back in time. Minecraft, or uh, not really Minecraft, but Tekkit 1.1 will not work. And I don't know if there's a mod conflicting or just some setup things that I could change. I don't know, but for whatever reason, I use Camera Studio to record these excellent panning shots. And it will not work with the latest version of Tekkit, Tekkit 1.1. So I've rolled back to Tekkit 1.0.10, and that's what we're going to be playing for the remainder of this month. I've got two more build videos, one directly after this one, and one at the end of the month where we take down the Christmas decorations and sort of do the house up for 2016. So until the end of the year, we're going to stay in 1.0.10, and then in 2016, brand new year, we will update to whatever the latest version is. Now that does mean there's going to be some things we won't have in the series, like the update to IC2 with the updated inputs and output upgrades, but we're going to make do with what we've got until then. Now to the meat of this episode, it's a pork flavor. Nah, it has nothing to do with pork. <laughs> Today, we're going to be moving our nether portal in preparation for the nether base. Now, nether base has been built, and that video is going to be coming out next. So if you're like, oh, why are you dragging this out? I'm doing it because of a comment I got that said I do too much off camera. And I, I got down and was ready to, to do this, and I realized, you know what? I should probably go ahead and do this on camera. So I've moved in the nether base, or not the nether base, I've moved the nether portal into an area where it is not outside, because let's face it, it's inconvenient to go outside the house and then go to it. I've moved it to another location where I can get to and from it without having to worry about being assailed by monsters and such. So hopefully you folks will enjoy the new location. Also, why we're on the subject, if there's anything you would like me to build in this series in sort of a build style episode, go ahead and comment now so I can do it in December before we update to the next version in January and we lose that ability. I've got some other build series planned that I want to do in the new year, but the problem is if it's not going to work with Camera Studio, they're just going to be really boring, like still shots. I like the sweeping and the panning and the... I like all that, but if it's just like a guy standing there, it might be a bit boring, and there's not really a whole lot you can do to fix that other than wedge a guy up against the wall and have him walk slowly to the s ugh. ugh. So if there's anything you want to see me build in this style Let's Build video, comment down below, let me know. I've been going on for three minutes, let's go ahead and get into the build. Now the very first thing I did was I had to get rid of that portal. Now unfortunately, a destruction catalyst doesn't work with obsidian, neither does the mining laser. So I had to use the drill, which took a while. After taking down the portal, I was like, I'm sh done here, right? I should be. But then I realized, no, there's this awkward hole here, I should fill it in, which is exactly what I did. I brought the ground up level with the ground directly into the house, because it always bugged me that it wasn't. And then I filled in the hole there, using some dirt, and here in a second some stone. I tried to make it blend and look natural, but then I realized, you know what? But nature doesn't blend perfectly, so maybe I won't do it perfectly either, and it will blend perfectly with the imperfection of nature, right? Logical? Maybe? Or maybe I just got lazy. That's also an option, and in fact, we're probably gonna go with that. Overall, though, I think it looks okay. It does make the other side of the house look a bit bleh, so I should probably go back and work on that. But after all was said and done, after the grass grew and the snow settled in, I think it looked okay. Now, where's the new portal going? Well, it's going back in the hidden garden, which is what we're calling this area, even though there's no garden and it's not hidden. At least there's no garden yet. The first thing I had to do was build up the ground by filling in the dirt and trying to make it level with the ground that was already, if you don't know where we are, by the way, you will in a second. I've got a glorious panning shot. At the end of the video, you'll know exactly where we are. But for now, just, I don't know, you just live in ignorance. You don't need to know. But <laughs> like I was saying, I used some dirt to fill it in and bring it up level. And then I realized I wanted the portal sort of elevated a little bit above the ground. So I built sort of a dirt pedestal situation in the back there to put the portal on. Now I use a lot of carpenter's blocks in this build. Carpenter's blocks with obsidian and glowstone in them so they would glow. And in fact, that's the lighting source that we went with for the entire garden. There's not a single lamp or torch in the garden area. It's all lit with these hidden, 
uh, carpenter's blocks uh, using glowstone, which I think is great. But here you can see me finally getting ready to build the portal. I built it up pretty high, and then I realized it wasn't in the camera shot, so we, we changed this camera shot where you can see me, again, just filling it in there, getting ready to build some stairs, getting ready to try out some different things. I tried interdiction torches because my thought was I don't want monsters to wander into the portal and build up on the other side like they did a couple episodes back. I also put some lights behind the portal, which you'll see me do here in just a second. Those did end up staying, but I did get rid of the interdiction torches because I ultimately ended up filling this area with lights, and I did the little thing where you use F7 to see if monsters could spawn, and I saw that, no, monsters can't spawn, so we're good. We're safe from them. We don't have to worry about them. And here you can see me using those, those, um... Uh, carpenter stairs with the glowstone. I filled in the old entrance to the quarry because, let's face it, we're never going there again. Also, the computer I'm recording this voiceover on just went to sleep. No, okay, it was just the screens. I woke it back up. We don't have to restart. Thank goodness. So I did sort of a broken path thing down there at the bottom, and you'll see that more when we do the whole pan around. I also placed a couple of creeper heads, which I thought looked pretty cool and ominous. I did not put those on the other side of the portal, which you'll see in the next video, because going into the nether is creepy. Coming home should be nice and welcoming. So I stuck my best friend's head. No, I didn't. No, there's no monster heads at all on the other side to worry about. And you can see me there. I played around with some interdiction torches before giving up and going with the hidden light effect, which I think turned out pretty cool. Now the question came, how do we get into the hidden garden? And if you don't know where we are, you should now. We have a massive staircase in the basement, but what if you want to get there from the second floor? Now, obviously, you just jump off. We can fly, but I like redundancy. And if there's a situation where we can't go to the basement and we can't fly, I wanted a staircase. Now, I'm not really happy with the way the staircase turned out. I kind of built it into the side of the wall and then did my best to blend it. But I think if I do ever redo it, which I think I might, I've got a different way I want to approach it. And in fact, I think I've got a different way to I want to approach this entire garden area. But we're not going to do that this episode and we won't do that anytime in the future, or at least not in the near future. Uh, I think I'm pretty happy with what we did ultimately get and I think we'll probably end up sticking with it. Now I just looked over, and this has nothing to do with the video. I, I should mention that I, I put glowstone in the stairs, so now you know. But I just noticed that this is an incredibly quiet recording. I'm not sure... We're just going to, in the middle of this recording, in the middle of this voiceover, I'm going to hop into recording devices. <laughs> I'm going to find... Where's my microphone? There's been an update to Windows, and I don't know what's changed. Oh, here you can see the grass has finally grown in, and I'm, I'm using some some bone mill to like build some flowers. And I thought the camera was going to pan the opposite direction, so I started work on a fountain that you won't see until after this. Where's where's the blue icicle? C media audio device. Real tech, real tech, scar. Ah, here we go. Two i two scarlet. Uh, properties, levels. Volume level was turned all the way to. Oh, good. Oh, good gosh, mistakes were made. Uh, right. Okay, sorry about that. Th th that's gonna be peaky. Maybe I should adjust this stuff when I'm not recording. But let's get it back up to 50. I think that's where it was when I sat down to start recording. Sorry about this, folks. This is not the time to be doing this. But it's too late. I'm already started. And besides, you're not really missing much in the video. Just me kind of... Oh, good gosh, there we go. Okay, we're done. Okay. <laughs> I'm done adjusting things. Is it still set? Uh, how, how many things were... Oh, no, it reset the record... Oh, man, uh, stupid Windows. It broke everything. I've got to go back and fix stupid Windows now. I hate you, Windows 10, and all your silly updates. I've got to go through and fix all these things. It explains why none of my audio has been syncing up correctly. But now we know, and I'm glad that we discovered this all together. So here we are, we're at the end of the video, and we're doing a nice panning shot of the, the finished results. Again, I'm not too happy with that staircase there, or the massive grand staircase that's like eight blocks wide coming in from the basement, but it is what it is, and I guess I'm okay with it, or at least I will get by with it. It's okay, it gets the job done. Also, can you let me know how this audio sounds compared to the beginning of the video? Because I did adjust the audio quite a bit there, and I need to know if it is too overbearing, and if it's too peaky. Too! Oh, that, that peaks way too easily. Yeah, I've got a lot of changes I'll have to make to that, don't I? Mm. Tragic and sad, but also nothing to do with what we're talking about. Back to the video. You'll see me doing another grand sweeping shot. You'll finally be able to see that glorious fountain and the stairs up to the portal looks pretty good. Overall, I'm happy with it. I think it turned out okay. 
and hopefully you folks will like it too. Now, if you're asking about a world download, stop, don't do it. There will be a world download with the next video, which will include the nether base, which is incredible. And I really hope you folks like it when you see it. Until then, we're just kind of going to fade out here, just slowly going toward the nether portal. And it's going to be very ominous. And hopefully, hopefully you'll all like what's on the other side. Because I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. But until next time, folks, this has been Cub signing off. Adios, muchachos, and all those goodbye things. I don't know, the end.